Hi everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm back to this YouTube channel. Finally I made it. I know it's been a while since my last video, but I'm here and I will try my best to post more videos and do it on a regular basis. I will try my best, <laughs> I promise. To begin with, I wanted to talk about the stuff which happened to me during the last year. I'm not gonna talk about different events or like places I went to, like trips or like whatever. I'm gonna talk more about the personal stuff, what I understood, uh, what I learned, maybe some changes inside of me. So it's gonna be more like a self-reflection. So the first point I wanted to talk about is actually dependence on other people's opinions. I decided to call it that way because <laughs> it used to be a crucial part of my life. I'm saying used to because it's not anymore. <laughs> I used to care about what other people think about me, uh, about how I look, what I say, like all, all, all these little things. And it would really affect me emotionally because I always take it so seriously. I'm taking it on a personal level and it really affects my like emotional well-being, I would say. I was trying my best like to get rid of this, <laughs> to get rid of the dependence on what other people say. And I think I, I, I made it really good. <laughs> and I wanted to, to say to you uh, that if you want to succeed in the future, if you want to become a successful and happy person, that's important if you want to be happy, you want to be successful, or if you want to be like a public person as well, you always have to remember that you're gonna have the people around you who don't like you. You're gonna have haters. If you can call, call them like that, yeah, you, you can call them haters. <laughs> like that's the reality and you can't do anything with that. This person definitely gonna hate you, like he's gonna blame whatever you're doing. <laughs> you will just put all these negative emotions on you. So don't take it so seriously. Especially uh, if you're considering my situation, especially with an Instagram, I usually not that often, but sometimes I get negative comments or negative DM messages about whatever I'm doing, <laughs> whatever, like how I look or like what I say, uh, all this, all this little stuff. And if it's a DM message, what I do? I decline it. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I block them, but it's not that often. I just like usually decline it and that's it. But if it's super negative comment, and it's usually, you know, who write all the negative comments, people with the closed private pages who don't have any images on like on profile don't have any followers and post anything they're like kind of incognito and those people who always read the negative comments <laughs> you should know that don't take it seriously like don't make this little stuff disappoint you because i used to take it really seriously i would be really concerned about it but like right now, I'm only taking all the comments and feedback when it's constructive. I'm always open to any critiques, to any feedback, but when it's constructive. By constructive, I mean that this person, when it, when it critiques me, he actually says like, you know, you did this wrong. That's why I think you did this wrong. That the solution, my suggestions, with how you can make it better. And it's more like kind of a feedback on that way that this person actually trying to help you and not like put all this negative stuff on you. So when I get the feedback of this kind, when it's constructive and really detailed, I'm always happy actually. I always wanted to get this feedback, especially when you're doing different projects, you always need people, like other people's opinions about what they're saying about it and they can actually critique and provide you feedback. But when I get a random DM messages saying, oh, you did this wrong, you're blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't care about it. It's their own life. It's their li if their life, it's full of negative emotions and they just like, wanted to give to anyone on this planet it's not my problem it's their problem i want to be happy i want to be a happy person in this life <laughs> Honestly, i think everyone wants to be happy so don't make all this negative comments affect you right as i've told before 
you can't be liked by everyone that you you're always gonna have a haters in your life some people who don't show it yes yeah, some people show it and write it down in your comment section but that's the reality and i'm telling you if you want to be a successful person in life and especially happy person in life don't care about these people don't waste your time and energy on these people hopefully i understood it i wish i could understood it earlier and i wish i could <laughs> be not dependent on what other people say like earlier like at the age of 17 or 18 but hopefully i got to it at the age of 20 so that's good <laughs> i'm still working on myself right and um, another point i wanted to mention also what i kind of changed uh, inside of me during the last year it's i've already mentioned this point it's more about the well-being about i decided to call this category as the wellness and i'm starting really concerning about my well-being about my mental health how i feel i started actually trying to listen and feel in my body what my body wants uh like if if i don't have enough energy and my body wants to have a rest i will take a rest I'm listening to it. The rest, I don't mean like taking two weeks off or like two hours during the day for a nap. I like taking a nap during the day. <laughs> All my friends and relatives, my boyfriend knows that I usually tend to take a nap during the daytime. daytime. And I'm not saying like two hour nap, right? Sometimes I only need five minutes. And I'll be full of energy. I will do all my stuff, but I just needed this time off from everything right you might not believe in it but <laughs> that's my body and i know how it works i started listening to it understanding what it wants in all these little steps um hopefully i will continue to explore it and learn in my body we, sometimes we don't even realize that our body can do so much stuff and about the wellness as well so yes um, sport of course it's important part of our life diet i was following a particular diet due to my high cholesterol level and now i i don't need to do it anymore because everything is fine hopefully <laughs> but i still like try and like eat healthy uh i'm not like guilting myself oh i ate this cake today blah 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 and i started to to feel guilty i'm starting feeling bad i started actually liking my body and how i look because it even used to be a struggle for me like you know i i always would think that i don't look good i'm not in good shape i'm like i'm not beautiful or whatever yes the, the, i'm not lying to you i'm telling the truth and if we talk about more about self-reflection yes that's true but i'm starting slowly loving myself <laughs> uh, i'm halfway through i can't like say that i achieved it but i'm halfway through it if I want to eat a chocolate, I will eat a chocolate. I'm not trying to stop myself from eating it. If I want it, I will, I will eat it, right? I'm always trying to do it smart. If you want a chocolate, eat chocolate, but do it in a smart way. Don't like spend the whole day just eating sweets, right? <laughs> if I want a small piece of it, if I want a sweet, I will eat it and I will do it like in a smart way. You always have to remember it, right? At the beginning of this year, um, I couldn't fall asleep because I would have so much ideas in my brain and I would actually brainstorm when I will go to bed. But I started practicing meditations uh, and it actually helped me a little bit to calm down. <laughs> after like, after just like one week of meditations, uh, I was like started seeing all this difference inside of me. So that I'm actually more calm down. I'm not like stressed out a lot i'm not like stressed about all this negative stuff okay i got a bad grade this week on my exam but i don't want this like grade to disappoint me i don't want this grade to affect me and affect my well-being i kind of passed this stage i know that it's just a grade okay <laughs> don't make this again don't make those little things to disappoint you and disappoint like your well-being okay it's our life we go up and down there are always different barriers in our life life it's like you know overthinking is life like a game 
I would say. We actually put our own barriers, like arcade game, you know? <laughs> we put these all little barriers by ourselves and we kind of actually create in this game, right? So it's our responsibility sometimes to make our live game complicated and our responsibility to make it easy in some cases. Sometimes we don't even consider it an easy way to get something. Sometimes we want to get a difficult way, we go in through like ups and downs so that's the life if you want to achieve something if you want to be successful as well i mentioned this phrase a lot today <laughs> that's kind of my advice to you don't make all these little things disappoint you as i mentioned before about the dependency on the other people's opinions about you all these negative negative feedbacks and from your followers from random people who decided to follow you as well um don't make the about haters as well don't make them disappoint you don't make them affect your life right don't have people around you that kind of useless right don't waste your time and energy for useless people in your life i've said it before and i'm like continue saying it a lot of time but that's the reality if other people don't believe you you should believe in yourself you should believe in whatever you're doing you should have this kind of real self-esteem i would say inside of you that you're the best and you can do everything doesn't matter what all these little disappointments all these little downs makes us only but as a, as a better as a stronger person and you always have to remember that so it's even came up being longer than i expected and i even mentioned some stuff which i didn't want to talk about <laughs> i didn't plan to talk about today but that's my first video in this year i hope you guys liked it and i came through a lot of struggles actually to took it <laughs> from i don't know from my fifth or sixth attempt i made it and if you have any comments please write it down but always remember if you write a comment uh, like if you want to critique something write it in a constructive way don't just write you're a bad what did you just say blah 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 you should support your feedback your critique it's the same with a research work right right you can't just uh, come up with a research project and don't support with empiric data that's the same with the comments and with the feedback and with the critique. Always support it with something. Support it why you think so and why do you think it could be better in another way. Hope again, hope you will like this video. Uh, enjoy your day and thanks again for watching and sorry maybe it ended up being longer than I expected. <laughs>